Hello YouTube, my name is Maxine Kwok Adams and I'm a first violinist with the London Symphony Orchestra. This is the masterclass for violin for YouTube Symphony Orchestra. If you plan to audition for an orchestra one day in the future or very soon, you're 99.9% .9 certain to be asked to play the first movement of a Mozart concerto. That is an absolute given anywhere in the world. So I hope the hints I will give you might help. I've chosen the A major because I think the opening is a little more tricky than the G and the D majors, which you almost launch straight into. Um, the A is somewhat more nerve-wracking, and yes, we all get nervous, so there's nothing you know, to be ashamed of there, but hopefully I can put you at your ease. Now, the very opening, you'll have just had the orchestra or the accompanist um, playing And then in the solo part, you have to pick out th two notes out of thin air with great beauty and the sound has to be clear as a bell. This is not easy in a stressful situation like an audition, but the most important thing you must remember is that on the third crotchet, the accompanist is going to come in and has to have a clear idea of tempo. It's very easy, and I've heard it many times in auditions, for violinists to be finding themselves in these first two crotchets and just holding on to them forever, which isn't really what Mozart wrote. So you need to actually keep this adagio flowing. It doesn't need to be so slow, and I think it's easier to play if you don't actually stick to being extremely slow. So something like this, although stylistically you might want to put your own ideas. That's the hard part done. So make sure you give your accompanist a really good upbeat because chances are in an audition you may be lucky enough to bring your own accompanist with you but you may not have that option and you might actually be playing with somebody for the very first time in the audition. So make sure you give them a strong upbeat into bar 46. And remember, keep the trills in time. Don't attempt to do too many rotations. It, it just doesn't work and you end up holding um, the tempo. So hopefully um, I'll demonstrate that for you. Now I'd like to talk to you about the passage that comes later on in the movement. This is a contrasting part. You may only have to play a Mozart concerto uh, first movement in an audition, so you want people to see the, your scope of your playing. Um, this is your chance to be slightly more romantic in the music, um, within reason, because obviously this is still Mozart, but you can obviously play much more espressivo and have a lot of different colours in the playing.
depending which edition you have of this music, most likely you will have had bar one, three, five as forte, and then the next passage as an echo. Um, I personally prefer to do that reverse because I think it's stronger to go into the big tutti before the recap um, with a forte chord because there's nothing worse than trying to tickle that um, in piano. So, but obviously that's up to you and you make your own decision. The very opening of the symphony is a big forte pizzicato. I think pizzicato is something that we're not often taught properly and often can sound really quite nasty if uh, fingernails start getting in the way. Um, the way I like to approach the pizzicato in this is to go to the edge of the fingerboard and stroke down towards the left hand. Um, if you go the other way, you end up usually catching a nail or something. This way you get a big strong sound and it's round. It doesn't have to be mega sound because there's going to be loads of people playing it in the orchestra. Um, so just be aware of that. Now the opening phrase I think really um, should travel to the ninth bar rather than most I think it's quite easy to think of it as ending in the fourth bar. So I think it should sound something like this. Now this is a passage for the first violins which is absolutely beautiful but it's actually quite tricky because it's it's so finickety a bit like knitting a jumper or something the most important thing is try and keep it really smooth and also keep it really simple um, first position works really well for a lot of this and second position actually I know we don't like playing a second position but it will really help a lot of this so and also keep your vibrato quite minimal um, some conductors may ask you to play it non-vibrato um, which is quite extreme but does happen um, but I think it certainly helps to try not to be too romantic through this passage. Hopefully you found this really useful and I've really enjoyed being here and helping you through it. So from me, thanks very much and hope to see you again soon. Bye.